Well, hello, my sweet nerdlings. Welcome back to Source Fed Nerd. I'm Matt Lieberman. And I'm Trisha Hershberger. Oh, we missed you so much, Trisha. Where have you been? What have you been up to? I've been working on lots of stuff uh, for my personal channel, for The Escapist, and for All Me. And I just did movie fights and screen junkies. And yeah. So awesome. much going on. Oh, and I'm live streaming every Thursday for six hours. Whoa! That's gotta be melting um, your brain. Are you having a good time? It, I am having a good time, but it is also melting my brain. <laughs> but I'm super happy to be right back here talking nerdy goodness to you guys. Yeah, and speaking of nerdy goodness, there is plenty of it today. From a spoilerific Game of Thrones set photo that's gonna blow your mind about season six. Oh yeah. To the first teaser trailer for Netflix's Jessica Jones. Oh damn you, November 20th, why must you be so far away? It's time, Matt, it doesn't respond to complaints. Mm, I hate time passing just as it always has, not making awesome stuff happen sooner. Breathe in, honey. I can't. <laughs> we also have statements from the Falcon himself, Anthony Mackie, and Winter Soldier Sebastian Stan about Cap's potential departure after Civil War. And the official new Harry Potter play may be too epic to be just one play. Wait, what? More than one play? Can plays even do that? That's some bad juju magic, Trisha. Or is it the best kind of magic? I don't know, twice the Harry Potter. But first, Twitter blew up this morning over the announcement that Sailor Moon Crystal has been renewed for a third season. Now, whether you're fighting evil by moonlight or winning love by daylight, if you're a fan, you've got to be over the moon about this announcement. Whoa there with the puns, Sailor. Nicely done. Thank you. The new season will feature all 10 Sailor Senshi from the original series, including Sailor Neptune, Sailor Uranus, and Sailor Saturn, all making their crystal debut. Now, if I know anyone who's excited about this announcement, it's my guinea pig. Your guinea pig watches anime? Legitimately, Trisha, Sailor Moon is her favorite. <laughs> she watches classic episodes every day. Okay, that's kind of one of the cutest things I've ever seen. It's cute until you realize you've heard the theme song 20 times in a weekend. You okay, Matt? Huh? What? It's not stuck in my head forever, no. The new season will pull its story from the fifth and sixth volumes of Naoko Takeuchi's original manga, and no release date has been set yet. Meanwhile, attention Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. There's a new Harry Potter story on the horizon, and it's coming to us in theatrical form. Now, next summer, at London's prestigious West End, the play Harry Potter and the Cursed Child will hit the boards. Wait. What? When did this happen? The play was actually announced a few months back, but there's new 411. We still have no idea what the story is about, but Rowling has given us a few birdie bots of information. I say this because we have yet to determine if they are good or bad. We know that the cursed child is not Harry, and the story is not a prequel to Harry's birth, but Harry will be somehow involved. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we also know from Rowling's Twitter account that the story is so epic it will be performed in two parts. Mm. Mm. The oh-so-popular let me milk more money out of this by making it two parts thing is questionable for sure. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, more Harry Potter. But on the other other hand, please don't ruin it for me. But on the other 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 hand, theater. Oh, I love theater. Hagrid, hug it out. Okay. I completely agree with your titillated skepticism. Now, if you're a Marvel fan, you're definitely pumped for Jessica Jones. Uh, duh. Marvel plus David Tennant plus villain role plus Netflix equals take 13 hours of our lives, Marvel, please. <laughs> I loved this teaser. In just 45 seconds, we got an idea of who Jessica is, and we finally got to see some of her much discussed but never specified superpowers in action. Trisha, I'm so excited to watch this hard living super detective kick butt that I could crush a clock with my bare hands. Well, you're gonna have to wait until November 20th to do so. Ugh, damn you, normal passage of time! Wait a second, did we just sacrifice 13 hours of our lives before the show even released? Yeah, wait a second, you're right, Trisha! Hey, hey Marvel, Marvel, give, give us, us back, back our hours, hours you jerk! jerk. My bad, yo. I'm sorry, guys. You should be, Spirit of Marvel. Yeah, take our life force when it's appropriate. Jeez. We're about to talk about your movies, too, you greedy baby. At Salt Lake City Comic Con this past weekend, both Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan were asked who would take up the shield should Steve Rogers be Cap no more in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And they both had very different answers. Mackie said, I don't think we need a new Cap, and went on to say both he and Stan would make great Caps, but then we'd be left without Bucky or Falcon. We need both. Whereas Sebastian Stan confidently replied that he should take over for Cap, and that studio execs have been hinting to him that Bucky will indeed be the successor, but that the only one who can really make that happen is the fans. That's probably not true though. I mean, execs. Hmm. Either way, I'll be the last one to know who takes over because I won't be able to see through my tears of infinite mourning mm -hmm. for Rogers. Also, I'll need to watch Captain America Civil War to get to know Falcon and Winter Soldier a bit better before I have a pony in this fight. Now, I personally want to see Falcon take up the shield. I love Anthony Mackie in the role, and I can't wait to see him star in one of these Marvel movies. He'd be great. And finally, we have a spoilerific set photo from season six of Game of Thrones. So, if you want to protect your virgin in season six eyes. Get out now!
good. All the non-spoiler folks are gone. Check out this sweet action. What is that? That is a photo of Jon Snow Kit Harrington looking alive and well and in costume on the set of Game of Thrones season six. And he's dropped his castle black cloak for what appears to be the leather armor of House Stark. What? So he's alive, and he's fighting in rad new armor, fighting for the North, claiming his birthright? My mind is gonna explode. If so, this picture fits the rumors that the Red Woman, Melisandre, is going to revive Jon Snow, and that since he did kinda die, his lifelong pledge to the Night's Watch is no longer valid. And now his watch has ended. But his reign over the North has barely begun! Wait, Matt, do you realize what this means? Uh, that because he's no longer on the watch, he can actually be, be freaking, freaking king, king of, of all of Westeros? Westeros? I know, I know, I know. I've, know. I've, I've never, never been, been so, so excited. excited. So now we want to hear from you. What do you think about Jon Snow's new dad? Who would make a better cap, Falcon or Bucky? Are you excited for the new Harry Potter play? Let us know down in the comments. I'm Matt Lieberman. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Thanks for watching. Yay! Yay. Greatness is just a word. A word that means very good. See great, hear great, feel great, be great. Should get me some of them leggings. All hail our exploding squid overlords. <laughs> May they pass our boat and choose another. You can't just stop. Seriously, what's this? What is that? What have you used that? It's what is it? For um it's you know, it's uh when you're thinking like oh, man, I'm thinking this, so I gotta use the blue diamond thing. <laughs>